What is up guys and girls, Hurricane Liz here, and I know it's been a while since you've seen me. There's a reason for that, so we're gonna talk about what that reason is. So in this video, I'm gonna cover what the absolute best platform is at the present time if you were a drop shipper. Now, I'm gonna talk about which platforms are perfect for newbies and for beginners, and also which platforms are there for veterans. And I'm also gonna talk about how much work each platform takes, and I think you're gonna be shocked because in the past month, since I've almost disappeared from YouTube, I personally have fulfilled over a thousand orders myself. And so I learned the ins and outs of almost every single platform out there. So I'm fired up for this video. I hope you're fired up. Let's go to do this. So obviously it's been a while and I've put out less and less videos because of the fact that I've been working on the back end of almost every single drop shipping store imaginable and today I'm going to cover those platforms, which is the best, which you should be doing, which is completely hands off and which one you can expect to have to do some work yourself. So let's go ahead and first talk about the one that most people won't even mention, which is eBay. And I know a lot of people are thinking like, Liz, eBay? Why? eBay of all places. Well, I will say this, although eBay's been out there for a very long time, it's been around the block and some, the fact remains, it's still a site that has a ton of traffic. And the craziest thing is not only do people just buy used things on eBay, but they're also buying brand new things, brand new things that you can find at other stores like Amazon and even Walmart. And while the primary store that sells on eBay is Walmart, however, the category of products that sell vary. So a lot of people like to sell bigger items on there. Now, obviously, when you jump into eBay and start drop shipping, you're going to have to find what niche works for you. And you're just going to have to become a veteran, and try to figure things out. That's kind of how I did it. I will also mention this. It does help on eBay since most of the products that do sell on eBay are off of Walmart for you to have tax exemption on Walmart. That way you can get these products at almost like 8% less. And again, like I said, just be mindful that there are some categories that sell better than other. So eBay is perfect for somebody that at least has some experience drop shipping. If you're gonna do it yourself, you should have some experience in sourcing products. The rest is pretty much easy. It's monotonous work. You just have to ship products out from another site. It's pretty standard. There are a couple services that do offer this. And I'm starting to try one that I have a drop shipping store with someone with for another platform that's done extremely well. I'm starting to test out eBay with him as a service, but I've done eBay myself hands-on, so it's definitely something that you can do. It's, it's not too bad. Let's talk about the next one, which is Amazon, which is like, obviously a lot of people have Amazon stores. A lot of people are selling these for very high prices, as much as $25,000, $35,000 for a full automation service. And here's the keys to Amazon. With Amazon, it is much better not to have to do it yourself. Obviously, if you choose to do it, that's fine, but there's a couple different models being offered. So I'm gonna talk about each of those models briefly, and then I'm gonna talk about certain categories that are fire on Amazon. So first and foremost, the business models being offered on Amazon are, and you gotta be aware of this one because this is the one that's mostly being sold out there, and it's also the one that's mostly being suspended by Amazon. So when you do interview a store or a service provider that offers Amazon, make sure you ask them this question. This question could cost you thousands of dollars in not having a store running because you're suspended and or fees to have to pay someone to write you a plan of action when you do get suspended. And that is, where do the majority of your products get sourced from? So a lot of them will give you some BS crap about they come from verified vetted drop shippers and shit like that. And usually those verified vetted drop shippers are Walmart. So if they're drop shipping a decent amount of the products from Walmart, then expect to get a suspension. However, here is the magic with Amazon. If you drop ship your products from Amazon themselves, now I know that sounds confusing, like Liz, did you just say there are stores that are drop shipping Amazon to Amazon? Yes, that's correct. The way that'll work is they'll relist products that are available for sale on amazon.com. They'll list them on your Amazon store and guess what? People will buy them from you. And this model works terrific because the customer at the end of the day is getting a box from Amazon. So it looks legit. It looks like they are ordering from Amazon, although it's coming from a competitor or somebody else who is already selling the product on Amazon. So essentially you're just drop shipping from Amazon to Amazon. Hopefully that makes sense. And hopefully that also puts dollars in your pocket. So when you interview these third party service providers that do offer this service, if they tell you that the products are coming from Amazon, then the chances are that your store will be profitable and will stay open for a long period of time. That's what you want to look for. 
So that is a terrific business model if you do have a service provider. Again, if you're doing this yourself, you're gonna have to find a whole team and a whole team that knows how to do Amazon to Amazon drop shipping. So keep that in mind. It can be rather difficult to find a reliable team on Fiverr as you're mostly gonna get a bunch of people that suck. That's not to say everyone on Fiverr sucks, but you're gonna have to spend a lot of money finding the right people. I have found that there are a lot of noob vendors on Fiverr that have never done this before, but are just trying to sell the service at a much cheaper cheaper price and essentially there's somebody from someone else's team that tried to start their own service and a lot of times they're not that good. All right, so the next one that I want to talk about is Walmart, which obviously Walmart is a giant and again, this again, I advise a service provider. Now there's been a lot of bad things going on with Walmart since they decided to terminate and even suspend thousands and thousands of stores and there was a huge uproar because there was a great deal of time where people just weren't able to get a store approval. Well, now that that time has ended, keep in mind they are approving stores. However, the process is going a lot slower because there are so many people that are trying to get those stores approved. So you have to remain patient if you want a Walmart store. It's gonna take a little bit of time. This model, just like Amazon, is not that newbie friendly. You should get someone to help you with this particular model as it can take a lot of time, attention, and you are probably gonna go through some growing pains. Now, it's still up in the air as to whether or not they're gonna continue to be suspension happy, but so far it looks good, and everyone that did weather that Walmart storm and is still alive right now is probably still doing pretty darn good. So I do expect great things from Walmart this year, and if you do get a chance to have a store and you have the available capital, then I would invest to get a Walmart store as of right now because things are looking up with Walmart. Again, if you're brand new, unless you have the capital to invest with the team, I certainly wouldn't decide to do this myself. And again, I'd be very weary using people on Fiverr as most of those people do not know how to get stores approved. It's a very complicated process and it can also be the most costly thing when getting your Walmart store up and running. So make sure you go with someone that has has a solid team that is doing this process for them. And remember, one of the easiest routes into Walmart when you are trying to get your store approved now is an Amazon store. Now keep in mind that the Amazon LLC must match your Walmart LLC in order to qualify for this. All right, let's go to the next one, which we don't talk about a lot, but that is Shopify. And the primary reason we don't talk about Shopify and Facebook ads is because it's not organic and you will have to pay money for ads. So keep that in mind. This is often the toughest for a newbie to learn because of the fact that they do have to pay for the traffic. And on top of that, Facebook is getting more and more difficult in terms of rules that they have with running ads. And they do get quite suspension happy, particularly around the holidays, which incidentally, the price of ads also goes up dramatically during the course of the holidays. So if you don't have a decent chunk of change in order to run these, and in case you don't have a good drop shipper that can guarantee to get products on time to your Shopify Facebook clients, then I would certainly not do this. This is possibly the toughest of all business models, especially because you're gonna have to pay money out of your pocket to run ads, and you're gonna have to learn how to do them yourself. I've never seen a done for you service that does this very reliably or very efficiently. So again, the best way to do this is to do it yourself. And if it's still something that you wanna do, then I would certainly invest the money to do it yourself and learn the entire process before you find a team to outsource this to. All right, and the last business model that I wanna talk about before I talk about which is the best newbie friendly and or the best veteran version is the Facebook Marketplace. Now, this is possibly the most underrated dropshipping opportunity that there is out there. In fact, I just spent over 100 hours doing this myself to really learn the ins and outs of it. And I will say this much, I was shocked at the amount of sales that can be generated on Facebook Marketplace. It's the easiest way for somebody brand new, whether they're doing it themselves or hiring a team, to just jump in there and make sales. Barry for entry is extremely low because as long as you have a Facebook account that has shipping enabled, you're ready to go. You can start immediately within the first couple days and you can also start having payments run into your account almost immediately. And as of right now, there is sort of a motto that most of these teams on Fiverr are trying to adopt, which is just list anything, it'll sell. But keep in mind, there are a lot of little intricacies that if you do the right thing, you'll be able to sell a heck of a lot more than they do. Now, that part does require some skill. It requires some investigation and it requires trying a bunch of things. So I will talk about that in another video. But just keep in mind, there is a way to put this on steroid with something called Facebook Shops. 
And in order to get approved for a Facebook shop, you'll need to have a valid Facebook account in very good standing and an LLC in the USA. Now, other than that, we really haven't been able to dissect anything else that's required for that, but I will be covering that as I find out more and time goes on. And so that's a quick rundown of all the drop shipping models available right now. Let's talk about which is overall the number one most newbie friendly, and it's no surprise that it's Facebook Marketplace here. Again, easy, quick to start, requires no money, pays you pretty quick, and you don't have to put a lot of money on your credit card since the turnover is pretty quick for getting your money back. Um, easiest for a veteran that has a lot of available credit in their pocket, it's either going to be the Amazon to Amazon drop shipping and or the Walmart drop shipping stores, which is just started up. And eBay is always a great sleeper. Again, a lot of people not talking about eBay, even though it'll bring in money pretty regularly month after month. So that's a quick rundown. Again, questions in the comments below. I always personally answer. And if you want to just schedule a call and talk about some of these drop shipping stores or your experiences, my email is below. So I'll see you guys next time.